Welcome to Mackey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem, we have a hexagonal prism of base side 20 mm and height 50 mm, which is resting on HP on its base in such a way that one of its base edges parallel to VP. And also, the prism is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and is inclined to HP at 45 degrees and is passing through the right corner of the top face of the prism. We need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the prism. So here, we have got a hexagonal prism which is resting in such a way that one of its edges is parallel to the VP. So this condition tells that we have to place the hexagon prism in such a way that it is resting on one of its corners only then one of its edge will be parallel to the VP and also coming to the cutting plane. So the cutting plane is cutting the prism in such a way that it is perpendicular to VP and is also inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degrees and is passing through the right corner of the top face of the prism. So with this data, let us proceed towards drafting the solution. So we'll begin with constructing the hexagonal prism. So before that, let us construct the xy line of thickness 0.18 mm and then we shall go for constructing the hexagon now so for that select a line of thickness 0.13 and let us start with the edge length of 20 mm and the initial angle being 0 degrees followed by edge length 20 mm and the angle is 60 20 60 into 2 then again Twenty and the angle is sixteen to three, followed by edge length twenty and the angle is sixteen to four, and then complete the hexagon. So this is the condition in which the hexagonal prism is resting on HP on one of its corners and also one of its edges is parallel to the VP. So with this condition, let us try to draw the front view of the prism. So let us draw the projection lines intersect that with the xy line so draw the projection lines from all the corners let us mark the center by drawing the diagonals any two diagonals is sufficient to locate the center point so from here let us draw the axis of the prism which is having a height of 50 mm so this is the axis of the hexagonal prism so now let us complete the rectangular faces. So this completes the front view of the hexagonal prism. So let us go for annotating this. So first let us annotate the reference line. So this is X and Y and also the planes that is VP and HP. So let us start annotating the prism from this corner. So we consider this corner because this corner will be there, the leftmost corner to draw the development. So we'll cut open the prism and this will be the leftmost corner from this position. So that is why we'll take the corner name from this end. So this is corner A, the top face and A1 is the corner of the bottom face. Similarly, this is corner B and B1. And next we have got the corner C and C1. And next we have got the corner D and D1. And then we have got the corner E and E1. And next we have got the corner F and F1. Also let us annotate the center. O being the center of the top face and O1 being the center of the bottom face of the prism. So let us go for annotating the front view. So this is D1 dash and this corner is D dash followed by the corner C1 dash which is visible to the observer and behind it is the corner E1 dash. So this is the bottom face. The top face will be C dash and E dash. And next, this is the axis which is O1 dash and then O dash. 
followed by the next rectangular face that is b1 dash inside the bracket f1 dash similarly the top corner is b dash and f dash and next we have got the leftmost corner that is a1 dash and the top face is the corner a dash so with this we complete the annotation of all the corners and as well as the rectangular faces in the top and the front views respectively so go for the smart dimension indicate any one edge length and also the axis height which is equal to 50 mm so now let us proceed towards constructing the cutting plane so as per the problem statement the cutting plane has to pass from the rightmost corner of the top face of the prism that is the corner d dash and it has to be in such a way that it is perpendicular to vp and is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the hp so we need to consider drawing the cutting plane so go for the line option select a line of thickness 0.13 mm and select the cutting plane so from the corner d dash draw the cutting plane so first draw a random line then go for the angle between select this line and the top face which is equal to 44 just enter the angle as 45 and now you can just see that the line is getting shifted so it is making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the hp and it is perpendicular to the vp so this is shown in the front view so this portion of the prism is retained the top portion of the prism is removed and we need to show the development of this part of the prism so for that let us highlight the rectangular faces which are visible that is the retained part of the prism so go for line select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and ensure it is a continuous line so mark all the outer edges first so from this point of intersection the axis line need not have to be considered so this is the portion of the prism so now let us go for annotating the points where the cutting plane is going to intersect the rectangular faces of the prism so the first corner is uh, the rectangular edges a1 dash and a dash and let us call this by the point 1 dash in the front view the same point is 1 in the top view next we have got the edge b1 and b dash so this is marked by the point 2 dash similarly c1 and c is marked by the point 3 dash and next we have got d1 dash and d dash so let us call this as the four, point 4 and then we have got the next corner that is e1 dash and e dash which is exactly behind c1 dash and c dash and this is given by the point 5 dash and next we have got f1 dash and f dash and this is given by the point 6 dash so these are the salient points that is the points on the responding rectangular faces in the front view so in the top view let us denote the points along the respective corners so this is the point 4 this is point 5 followed by point 6 so since all the points are on the exact corners or the rectangular edges and nothing is intermediate that is between f1 and e or e1 and d so let us complete the top view of the prism also so just darken the entire prism that is connect all the points of intersection so this is how the chop portion of the prism will appear so now we'll complete the development so for that let us cut open the prism first so for that select a line of thickness 0.13 keeping the reference as the xy line from here we need to draw a line of length 20 into 6 because it is a hexagonal prism six faces will be there and each face will measure 20 cross 50 so enter the height as 50 and then complete this rectangle of 120 cross 50 and then divide the rectangle into six equal parts so each line will be of length 20 mm so 20 cross 50 so divide this into six equal parts So from the 
uh, points okay so before we mark the points on this cut section let us annotate this so this corner you can see that towards the left side it is the corner a so from here we will do the nomenclature that is a1 and this is a followed by b1 so this is b1 and corner b so whichever end point either c or d whichever letter you take towards the extreme left that will be represented here so c1 and c and this is corner d1 and then corner d of the top face this is corner e1 and then the corner e of the top face followed by f1 and corner f and then this is corner a1 and a so this completes the cut section of the prism so now go for the line option select the line of thickness 0.13 and mark the corresponding points so since there are no intermediate points across the edges all the points will lie on the straight lines so point 1 is on a1 dash and a1 a here so these are the points 1 and 1 and next point 2 is on b1 b and the point 6 is on f1 and f so these are the points followed by 3 and 5 on c1 c and e1 e respectively and then the point 4 is on the corner d itself so now let us annotate the points here so this is 1 and this is 1 then followed by the point 2 which is on b1 b and next we have got the point 3 which is on c1 c and uh, the next point is on the corner d okay and next we have got the corner e1 e and the corner point here is 5 and next we have got the point 6 on the edge line f1 f so now let us complete the development so go for the line option again select a line of thickness 0 0.50 so join the points that is 1 2 the point of intersection 3 the end point 4 then again the end point 5 end point 6 followed by the end point 1 and then cover the bottom portion of the prism because it is retained so this portion of the prism is cut and these are the portions which is remaining so darken the rectangular edges from 2 to b1 and then from point 3 to c1 d1 to d 0.5 to e1 then 0.6 to f1 so with this we complete the development so go for the smart dimension show the height of the prism show the total length of the base of the prism that is the cut section and the length or the width of any one rectangular face which is equal to 20 mm and these are the points that we have marked and then we need to enter the text development indicating that this is the development of the remaining part of the prism so the one which is highlighted so this completes the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement so we have got a hexagonal prism with one of its edges parallel to the vp and then the cutting plane passing through the rightmost corner of the top face and then inclined to hp at an angle of 45 degrees so with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement thank you all for watching